Hey guys, this video is going to be slightly different. Now, I'm going to be showing you my collection of first person shooters for PC. Okay, now these games do not come in a pretty box, and instead they just come in their regular DVD case. Now, let's start with the first one Medal of Honor Airborne for PC. So, for me personally, this is probably the best game out of the Medal of Honor series. Now, yes, I know there are Medal of Honor Frontline and Allied Assault, and it is probably better. But for me, this is my number one. Okay, and anyway, here as you can see, this is the DVD case that you get, right? Uh, here is Jump, Enemies Fall, uh, great tagline. You've got the system requirements on the bottom, uh, you've got all the features in, in game, a couple of screenshots, and it uh, comes in a nice black DVD case, right? Now, yeah, I guess, yeah, I, I, I could clean this up a little bit more. I mean, I've still got. Uh, the residue from the from the uh, sticker price up here. I'll um, yeah. At some stage, I'll when I get a chance, I'll I'll clean it up. Right. Anyway, if I open up the case uh, again, you get uh, I believe you get three things in here. So obviously you get the DVD ROM in here, CD. Right. I open it up again. It's in perfect condition as usual, and you also get the booklet and a leaflet that promotes Medal of Honor Airborne for your mobile. Now, yes kids, this is what mobile gaming looks like back in 2007. Look at that, and look at the phone on it. Right? So, yeah, this was it back then. Okay, now, in terms of the booklet, right, there it is. Uh, it's not a, it's not a, it's, it's a pretty thin booklet. All it has is contents. Uh, obviously, you know, control, setting up the game, uh, how to play the game, and yeah, everything else you need to know, uh, hints and tips online, and all that, all sorts. Okay, so there it is, there is my copy of Medal of Honor Airborne. Okay, now the next game I'm going to show you is The Orange Box. This is basically five games in one. You get the following games, right? You get Half-Life 2 Episode 2, Team Fortress 2, you get Portal, Half-Life 2, and Episode 1. Now, I believe this is the first time Portal was introduced. Nowadays, you can find all these games in Steam. Okay, so there it is, Orange Box. All right, now let's open it up and see what's inside. Inside contains two DVDs, okay, and a leaflet that tells you how to install the game, right? Quick, quick reference card. Um, now, to be honest with you, I cannot remember if disc two is needed to install the games. Uh, to, yeah, the game itself. Uh, now, if anyone knows what the second disc is actually for, um, you know, let me know in the comments. But anyway, that is my copy of Orange Box for PC. All right, now, the third game I'm going to show you is Soldier of Fortune 2 Gold Edition. All right, for, again, for PC. Now, this was one of two online first-person games that I played the most back in the day. And when I say back in the day, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's around 2002, three or something like that. I, I can't remember. Um, so the first being this game, and the second, obviously, Counter-Strike 1.6, right? Multiplayer was where it's at for me. Uh, so uh, maps like um, Jordan, uh, Kamchatka 3, Kamchatka 4, Kamchatka 5, Prague, just some of the m multiplayer maps that I enjoy playing in. Now, if you've played this game, you know what, exactly what I'm talking about. Now, looking at the back, uh, obviously you get a couple of screenshots. Um, here's, and you know, obviously new features, and oh, there's something that takes me back. Punk Buster for anti-cheat. Jeez, I haven't heard the word Punk Buster in a long time. All right, but there it is, my copy of Soldier Fortune Gold 2 Edition. Now, let's see what's inside. Inside, you, you don't get a lot, right? You get two CD-ROMs. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is both the installation CDs and the install tips and the gameplay tips are actually printed on the backside of the front cover. Right, as you can see there. But um, yeah, that's my copy of um, Soldier Fortune 2. Now, 
I don't know if there are still active servers um, for this game, uh, but yeah, I might if, if I get the chance, I would love to play another multiplayer. Now, next up is my copy of Wolfenstein, which came out in 2009. Now this game was created using the same engine as Quake 4, uh, EdTech 4, I believe, or barely better, better known as Doom, the Doom 3 engine. Now, I have to admit, this is not my favorite Wolfenstein game. Okay, but, nevertheless, it's pretty good for its time. Now, the case itself, it's nothing to brag about. The only thing, the only, only thing that really annoyed me is there's a small rip on the back of the case. I don't know if you can see that, but right there, on, on the knee of BJ. Right? It's really annoying. Now, I only found out about that uh, when I took the game out of the shelf. Uh, I can't remember how it happened or who did it, but it's there and I'm annoyed. Anyway, let's move on. Opening up the case, again, we get the DVD and the booklet. Right? As you can see, the DVD is in, uh, again, it's in excellent condition. Uh, the booklet has a page, uh, you know, has all the uh, necessary pages. Uh, table of contents, uh, you know, controls, and again, you can play this on an Xbox 360 game, but, you know, why would you? Um, there's a display, the veil powers, the journal, saving, loading, and whatnot, and obviously all the, you know, the credits and uh, parts on, uh, you know, notes, right? And again, I, I, I cannot for the life of me understand why anyone would want to write on, you know, on the booklet itself, but it has a page for notes. And that is my copy of Wolfenstein for PC. Okay, now the second to last game that I want to show you is Stalker, Shadow of Chernobyl. Now this is basically a first person survival horror with RPG elements, if I'm not mistaken. So obviously, you know, um, there's a case there, right? Stalker for PC, uh, system requirements at the bottom, as usual, a couple of screenshots. And if we open it up, uh, there's there's the DVD, and you also get an instruction manual, right? Along with a small card for registering your game from THQ. Right? There it is. Okay. Now, the instruction manual. It's a, it's it's a pretty good instruction manual. Uh, it's fairly thick, and as we've learned before, you know, a thick booklet will contain a lot of content and information. Now, look at this, right? You have the history of Chernobyl, okay? Um, it's obviously fictional, as you can see there. Well, hopefully it's fictional, as far as I know. And, you know, getting started, all the controls in there. Uh, video, sound, game difficulty, in-game display. Uh, all the weapons that you can get on the in-game. Uh, the PDA, oh wow, PDAs. <laughs> this takes me back. Uh, trade dialogues, gameplay overview, multiplayer, which I've never played, and obviously the credits and notes and you know uh, and advertisement. Oh, Frontlines, Field War. There we go. And that is my copy of Stalker: Shadow of Chernobyl for PC. And finally, the last game in this video: Counter Strike Source. Now, there's not much to talk about this game other than the CD contains Counter-Strike Source and also includes Half-Life 2 Deathmatch and Day of Defeat Source. Right? Uh, and if you're wondering what the case looks like, there it is. Right? You get uh, two screenshots, uh, one for Half-Life 2 Deathmatch and the other one for Day of Defeat Source. There's the uh, system requirements and inside it's just the um, quick reference card and the DVD. So if you're wondering uh, what Counter-Strike looks like um, outside of Steam, this is it. Okay? But there you have it, folks. These are my first person shooter games collection that, that doesn't come in a box. Um, again, thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want. But yeah, until the next video. See ya.